showing you my daily makeup routine updated version. Yes. But before we get into that, guess what you guys? We We're have a giveaway! We are giving away an iPad. So here are the things that you have to do. As you guys probably already know, we only have one requirement to enter the giveaway, and that is to do an act of service for, for someone else. Mm -hmm. So you can enter the giveaway by clicking the link in the description box below or the information button right over here. So this giveaway starts on November 7th, and it's going to end on... November 28th, mm -hmm. 11.59 Central Time. Yes. And it is open internationally, so all of y'all can come and We love our international babies. Yes. We love you guys. <laughs> also, you have to be 18 or older or have parents' permission to enter the giveaway. Yep. So that is all the information we have about that. So go enter the giveaway by clicking the link in the description box below or the information button and go do that right now so you guys can have a chance to win the iPad. <laughs> okay, all of that information is out now. It's time for me to show you how to do this makeup look every single day. Okay, I'm just gonna dive right in with my college makeup tutorial, but to preface, I am no James Charles. I certainly am not a professional by any means. I'm just an average everyday girl with the average everyday college makeup routine look. So I'm gonna walk you and talk you through my makeup routine every single morning. This is literally what I wear every single day. So to start, obviously, I'm going to put my foundation on, and this is the foundation that I use. It's called Matte Velvet Skin, and it's by Makeup Forever. I have been going and using this for years so I think I'm a shade 30. I'm just gonna go ahead and just dab it on here or there. Literally what I do by no means is it professional or anything of the sort. Okay so now I've got it pretty much dabbed on there and I'm just gonna use my brush by Sigma to just go ahead and blend it in. Just rub it in circles like so. You always wanna be careful underneath your eyes. I didn't know this but if you like drag it it's apparently really bad for your eyes. So it's to avoid wrinkles. So if you want no wrinkles, go ahead and dab it underneath your eyes, don't rub. And I have a mirror right here. That's why I'm looking down. And yes, if you're wondering where I am, I'm literally sitting in my living room in my dorm room. Obviously, dorm rooms don't have the greatest lighting and this is the best window that we have in our dorm room, so I'm using it. True talent in avoiding conversation. Okay, so now you can see it's all blended very nicely. I just use my foundation brush to blend in my foundation. Some people use beauty blenders to make sure that it's all blended out, but this basically does the job for me. I like to use concealer for the under eye. It's called Shape Tape and it's like literally my favorite concealer ever and they're always sold out in the stores which drives me crazy because it's literally my favorite makeup product probably besides my own mascara. <laughs> Just kind of cover those college dark circles underneath my eyes because you know we always have those, all of us. I'm gonna dab some on the tip of my nose, on my chin a little bit and in my T-zone right here. Just blending it in with my foundation brush. Like so. <laughs> Brooklyn just dropped my phone behind the camera. I hope that didn't crack. Okay, it didn't crack right. Okay, go. go ahead and blend that all in. Brighten those eyes so you look less like a sleepy, tired college student like I do. Voila. Okay, so now that my skin is all one shade and everything is all concealed and blended, I'm gonna go ahead and add color back into my face by using blush. So I have my ColourPop palette right here that kinda has my blush and like a rose gold highlight in it. So I use a lot of blush because my blush typically like wears off throughout the day and then I'll use my powder to blend it in after I apply it. But I'm just gonna go ahead and smile, put it on the apples of my cheeks, and then kind of pull it back a little. So as you can see, now I look blush crazy because it's just like, wow, that is really pink. So obviously the next thing I'm gonna do is just use my powder and not only set the foundation and concealer that I have on, but also kind of blend out and calm down the blush so I don't look like a clown throughout the rest of the day. Well, let me show you the powder that I use. It's called All Nighter, and it's by Urban Decay. You guys are gonna laugh at me, but every time I film these videos, I like have to wash my makeup off. Like my makeup bag, I always have things exploding in it, so I have to like wipe it down. I don't know if that's normal or not, but that's what my makeup bag looks like. So every time I film one of these, I'm like, oh my gosh, my makeup looks so dirty. I have to make sure that it doesn't look so dirty when I film it. Okay, so there we go. Powder is on, blush is on, concealer and foundation. The next step that I use is eyebrows. My eyebrows, honestly, they're like practically not there when I don't have them filled in, or at least the ends aren't there. Like they're really thick right here and then they're thin back here. So I have learned how to fill in my eyebrows pretty nicely. So I use 
The Tarte Brow Architect is what it's called. It's like a double-sided pencil. So on this side, we have like the eyebrow brush that like combs them out. And then this side has the actual pencil itself. So I use a brown color, obviously, because my hair is pretty dark brown, naturally. And then, of course, on the inside, you can untwist it and actually get some like underbrow highlight, kind of accentuate the brow there. I don't actually use that part often. That's only when I'm like really dressing up. But as I was saying, I use a brown color because obviously my eyebrows are like super brown. My natural hair is this color, what you can see in the roots. And then I added the pink in. I wish the pink grew naturally. I tell a bunch of kids in my class, well not my class, but like little kids, like I eat strawberries and that's why my hair is pink. I wish that was true. I wish my hair grew pink all the time. So normally I just trace the outside of my brow first. And I try and give them some shape while also following the natural shape of my brow. Trace it and then fill it in. And I'm gonna do the front too. So I'm gonna trace underneath, like so. And then just kinda do upward lines to make it look natural. Okay, and there you go. So now I'm gonna comb it out. And there you are. So that's how I fill in my eyebrows. I'll go back and like clean it up if I need to or anything like that, but that's the basic gist of how I do my eyebrows. Voila, you can see. It's all filled in. This side is not, and this side is. It looks very different, and that's why I appreciate the fact that I can fill in my eyebrows. I'm always one step behind, wishing I could read So voila, now I have both of my eyebrows done, but I also use this like eyebrow glue, and to be honest, I don't know who it's by. I think it's by Anastasia. The logo has rubbed off. I've used it for so long. Kind of looks like a mascara, but it's clear. I don't know about y'all, but my eyebrows like to just stray away from the shape that they're supposed to be in during the day. So they're all over the place. So I use this glue to just go ahead and solidify them in the shape that they're in for the rest of the day. And you can see it goes on clear so it doesn't mess anything up. Just glue it in place. So there you go. Eyebrows are done. Time to move on to my favorite product of the day, mascara. I obviously use my own mascara, which is called Lash Next Door, so if you haven't bought it, you should definitely do that by clicking the link in the description box below. We are actually having a holiday sale, so if you use the code HOLIDAY15, you should get a certain percent off of your purchase of the mascara, so definitely go do that. It's called Lash Next Door by Brooklyn and Bailey. Believe it or not, it is my favorite mascara that I use, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you all how I do my mascara. Now, this is actually a question we get asked a lot. So you guys, this is the tutorial basically on how to apply mascara like Brooklyn and I do. And it's quite the process actually, I feel like. But if you do it, your eyelashes will look so good, I promise. First thing I do is I blink instead of just going like this. So I actually blink on the brush. It actually gets the mascara like all the way through your eyelashes and make sure that they don't clump as much because the fibers are breaking. Like breaking and splitting them apart and like fanning them out more. So I blink like so onto the brush. So blink, blink, blink. I mean, already look at that difference, it's crazy. And that's just from like one coat, wow. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add another layer um, of mascara on here. Everyone gets mascara on their eyelids, I try not to. Okay, so that's pretty much what I do when I blink it on. Now, there's one extra step that I do on the top layer that most people don't do, and that is I take the brush and I roll it on top of my eyelashes. It like pulls them out, lengthens them, gets the color and the coat on top of your eyelashes, and just really completely transforms the way they look. Rolling it on the ends of my eyelashes. Glue it everywhere. Fix anything you need to. Now I'm going to do my bottom lashes and show you the final product. Okay, so I have wrapped up my mascara and you can see that it's all finished. I have the top layers done and I have the bottom lashes done as well. I like to do my bottom lashes because I think it just finishes the whole mascara look. Obviously, I only have two more things left, lipstick and highlight. So as you guys know, I showed you that I have this rose gold inside with my blush. But I actually have this other palette as well, and it's called Pixie by Petra. It looks like this, but it has these two pretty colors in it. 
and I typically use like the white color. I don't do like extreme highlight or anything, but it's definitely an important factor in just like highlighting the parts that you want on your face to look highlighted. So I'm gonna put some at the end of my nose, just a little bit like so. And then I go ahead and put some on my cheekbones as well, like this, voila. And then this side as well. Just gonna go ahead and put that on. I finished my highlight. I have it on my nose, upper lip, and right here on the cheekbones. So I'm glowing now. Hopefully you guys can see that. Ooh, I feel so fancy. Okay, so the last thing that I have for my daily makeup routine is just lipstick. So this is called Lip Lock Fade Out. I really, really like like almost the purpley pink shades because it matches my hair, which I love. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on. It is a matte lipstick, so once I put it on, it doesn't really come off during the day, which is so nice because when I eat and stuff, I don't want it to be all over my face and or all over my teeth or just fading and it looks funny. So that's what I like to use. Okay, so now my lipstick is on and that finishes up my daily college makeup routine. You guys can see this is the final product. But yeah, this is pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Now do not forget to subscribe to our channel. I don't know what you're doing if you haven't subscribed. So go subscribe right now by clicking the button down below that says subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to watch more of our videos and you can do that by clicking the buttons right over here. And last but not least, we are having a sale on Lash Next Door, which is the mascara I used. So click the link right here, right next to the box that says subscribe and use the code HOLIDAY15. Okay, I love you all so much. Bye!